Hello and welcome to my poster entitled Pharmacology of Trip M8 Channels Using Different Activation Stimuli. My name is Ali and I work for Nanny and Technologies, the manufacturers of the automated patch cam instruments described in this study. For those of you who are not familiar with Trip M8, Trip M8 are non selective cation channels. Functional channels exist as homotetramers, comprising of four Trip M8 subunits. Here is a schematic diagram of one trip M8 subunit with six transmembrane regions, S1 to S6. The transmembrane segment S2 contains the binding site for menthol. The S4 segment and the region between S4 and S5 are required for voltage sensing. And the region between S5 and S6 form the channel pore. The trip domain at the carboxyl terminus is important for temperature dependent channel opening and for channel activation by PIP2 and menthol. The coil-coil domain at the carboxyl terminus of the trip M8 protein has been implicated in its oligomerization. trip M8 has been proposed to be the predominant thermoreceptor for cellular and behavioral responses to cold stimuli and is involved in various important processes, including pain. It is a potential therapeutic target for migraine, dry eye disease, and cancer, amongst others. In this study, we use two automated patch clamp devices, the Porter Patch and the Synchro Patch 384. The Porter Patch is a semi-automated planar patch clamp system for recording from a single cell at a time. The Synchro Patch 384 is a fully automated robotic system for recording from up to 384 wells at a time. In both systems, a planar glass chip is used and suction is used from underneath to attract a cell to the hole to get a good seal and to get into the whole cell configuration. Both systems are equipped with temperature control that can heat as well as cool. In this first set of experiments, we use the Porter Patch with temperature controlled external perfusion system to activate trip M8 expressed in CHO cells using cooled solution. A voltage ramp from minus 100 millivolts to plus 100 millivolts over 200 milliseconds was repetitively applied and the external recording solution flowing over the cell was cooled down to 10 degrees C, which activated trip M8. When the solution was heated to 35 degrees C, the channel was inhibited. Trip M8 could be activated a second time using cooled solution in the same cell. Activation of trip M8 by cooled solution was blocked by capsaicepine. In these experiments using the Porter Patch, we activated trip M8 using cooled external solution at 10 degrees C and then applied 50 micromolar capsaicepine, also at 10 degrees C. Trip M8 activated by cooled solution was blocked by capsaicepine and the effect could be reversed upon washout of the blocker. Capsaicepine blocked trip M8 mediated responses in a concentration dependent manner with an IC50 of around 13 micromolar in good agreement with the literature. We also measured trip M8 expressed in CHO cells using the Synchropat 384. Trip M8 was activated by increasing concentrations of menthol with an EC50 of around 54.5 plus or minus 2.6 micromolar for an average of 227 wells. In another set of experiments, rather than using the ligand menthol to activate trip M8, we used external solution at different temperatures. When the solutions and measurement chamber of the Synchropatch 284 were cooled to 18 degrees C or lower, trip M8 was activated and further activation was seen at 12 degrees C. At higher temperatures of 25 and 35 degrees C, no activation of trip M8 was seen. In conclusion, trip M8 was activated by cooled solution on automated patch clamp devices and the activation by cooled solution was blocked by capsaicepine. Higher temperatures did not activate trip M8 but rather blocked activity. Trip M8 was activated by increasing concentrations of menthol and the combination of automated patch clamp with cell lines expressing trip M8 offers a promising assay for basic research and drug discovery.
Thank you to my colleagues at Nanin, in particular Ilka Rinke Weiss and Andras Horfal, who did the experiments on the Synchropatch 384 and the Porter Patch, respectively. Thanks for listening to this presentation. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me or find me on LinkedIn.